With some of our studies, we've been able to develop new ways of inhibiting HIV. Uh, when we solved the structure of one part of the virus, we realized uh, that just based on the structure that there might be a way of inhibiting maturation. And so we've, uh, we've identified inhibitors, we've patented them, we've licensed them, and there are companies that have been trying to get them to the point that they might be useful. Um, I don't know where that will eventually go. Uh, what we're most excited about is just trying to understand how the virus works. And so uh, I think that by getting information about how the key parts of the virus fit together, that may help other people who, who focus mainly on drug discovery, it might help them. We're using NMR to look at really large RNAs. Uh, RNAs are challenging for a number of reasons. Uh, the main one being that you know, with only four typical nucleotide types, uh, the signals tend to come in very crowded regions of the NMR spectrum. And so historically, the sizes of RNAs that have been structurally characterized is only you know, about 25 or 30 nucleotides. Uh, NMR is the, is the central tool that, that we use. Um, we have attempted in the past to use other kinds of technologies. Uh, recently, we've tried to grow crystals of some of our protein RNA complexes, of some of our RNAs, and there's just no way that's going to happen. The, you know, what we know now is that as we look at larger and larger biologically functional RNAs, uh, they are flexible. They're undergoing conformational changes. And so the idea that they might crystallize is, is probably pretty far-fetched. And so we've been able to learn a lot using NMR that I don't think you'd, you'd be able to u learn using any other technique. I, I'm, not, I'm not a physicist. I need to qualify that up front. I was trained mainly as an inorganic chemist. Uh, but every time there's been a, a big uh, increase in field strength, we've seen major advantages. So we're collecting data that we can interpret at 800 megahertz that I don't think would be possible uh, on our 600 megahertz magnets. And so higher field, higher signal to noise, better resolution, those kinds of things are likely to uh, really help us.